Hello, and welcome to this episode of HPE Unleash AI. Today, we're going to be diving into what it is and what it means for organizations that are trying to figure out their AI journey. Today, I'm joined by Robin Braun, who's the Vice President of AI Business Development at HPE and the leader behind the Unleash AI Partner Program. Robin, it's so great to be talking to you again. Great to have you on. Thanks. Delighted to be here today, Rob. So let's kind of roll it back a little bit and take it up a level and kind of help people understand exactly what is Unleash AI and the program. Absolutely. Unleash AI, I'm so excited to be leading the program. It's, it's really HPE strategy for delivering production ready enterprise AI with the governance, security and scale organizations need to be able to kind of jump over that gap that we've heard so much about going from pilot to production. Um, we look to combine um, like HPE, private cloud AI, you know, kind of HPE's uh, like flagship product around being able to kind of get started with that total AI solution uh, that's co-engineered with NVIDIA and of course also built on NVIDIA acceleration. But then really the Unleash AI portion is that curated ecosystem of vetted ISV partners uh, and being able to bring them together across, like whether it's our X10,000, PCAI, as I mentioned, uh, being able to bring the different components of the infrastructure, but underneath the use case, underneath that last mile of the solution that the ISV can help us bring to our channel partners and end end customers, is to really underscore the mission of how our help again, how we can help our customers move from AI experiments to AI outcomes, kind of both fast, safely, and and behind their own firewalls, so that they can take advantage of uh, of their own data to be able to drive their own outcomes. Yeah, I, I I love that. I think again, when you look at it, bringing in the ecosystem and helping those customers, like you said, behind the firewall where they're creating on top of their own intellectual property. But let's like kind of stick there with the ecosystem. Why have you built such a selective ISV community for enterprise AI like this with Unleash AI? Yeah, I think Rob, you know, AI is such this vast, you know, it's this vast topic. Somebody was like, we do AI. Well, that doesn't really say what you're doing. Uh, that could mean anything to to anyone. We've really gone out and curated a handful of partners uh, focused on different AI use cases from vision AI to all the way to agentic analytics and kind of everything in between, including accessibility and compliance, which we've talked about before, data governance, you know, getting into the considerations that people that we so often focus on in AI around the data that we're building out all of these great insights on, and, and then stretching all the way into digital twins, where you start to think about operationalizing your environment in different ways. You know, we have partners like Vidio and Prohawk to Data IQ and Able and Kamiwaza, and then you know, even CrowdStrike and, and Fortanix, and being able to put all of these partners together into an ecosystem and, and innovation partnership and, and toolbox, as I like to say, because each one brings something essential that our customers and partners need to be able to solve those business challenges that they're wrestling with. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I think, again, when you talk about it, you're kind of providing them that opinionated stack so that they can go and plug pieces in where they need to based on the outcome they're looking for, which is really what everybody's trying to get to the ROI of AI or the ROAI. So I also hear that you're really going down this path and really investing in helping to roll out hands-on labs. Help us understand a little bit more about that. When we think about AI, I look at, you know, there's, there's a ton of different slides out there. There's a lot of jazz hands around it. But how do you start to make it practical and tactical and something that's really tangible for someone? And so when we think about the Unleash AI hands-on labs, we think that can be a big differentiator to help our customers try solutions before buying, to be able to walk through the workflow, start to understand what that can mean, start to really see and demonstrate the type of outcomes that they can have within their own environment 
And because an AI that's really tough to do without going into a full blown POC and, and all the time and energy and uh, impact that that has on the organization. So we want our customers to see real results on their data before they commit, uh, but being able to do so in a much more controlled environment. I, I, I think that was key. And I, I think let's keep on that train because I, I think, you know, making it real is really where it's at. And, you know, why don't you kind of share what some of the examples of outcomes customers can, you know, deploy today and where they can really get that ROI? Well, we've started, and one of the points of Unleash AI is to bring out use cases. While it's great to talk about ISVs, and, and I have some fantastic ones, and I can wax poetic about them all day long, the it's really looking at how do we help people solution? How do we help people implement and leverage these technologies to achieve the type of results that they're looking for? So one of the first that we started with was around 508 digital accessibility, uh, working, we released that with Kamiwaza and SHI, where really where we can help organizations automate their accessibility audits and um, WCAG remediation behind their own firewalls. Uh, and in the end, the goal being to make um, public information more accessible for people with disabilities. Uh, which is something that, um, you know, you can just be passionate about whether there's a federal regulation or not, quite frankly. Um, this used to take months, but working with someone like Kami Waza, it can take minutes. And it's really game changing when you start to think about how can we help these organizations who, who are struggling with all of their legacy content to be able to make it accessible. Uh, then being able to grow that out further to smart cities, um, which we announced at GTC DC at the end of October, uh, that's live today in Vail, Colorado. Um, being able to bring in again that agentic back end. So we announced HPE's agentic smart city solution, leveraging that agentic intelligence with a partner such as Kami Waza, but bringing in those other types of AI, again, part of the Unleash AI ecosystem with Vidio, Prohawk, Black Shark, and we'll continue to build out that ecosystem as additional use cases come up from mobility to public safety, environmental insights, digital twins, you know, all sort of things that cities are struggling with to look at how did they bring them to life and start to leverage these technologies to help their cities in the end be smarter. And then you'll start to see new things coming around manufacturing and retail but uh, but th those are coming, and we're excited for uh, we're excited for uh, the conversations we'll soon be having. Yeah, and I love that it it all ties back to this curated partner approach, right? It, it does, and you know the customers know the you know what what they're trying to achieve, but don't necessarily know whom to work with to achieve it. And one of the great things about being able to bring in these, these partners and these solutions is the customers know that they've been vetted and are enterprise ready, working with HPE and, and typically a channel partner or a system integrator to be able to bring them into their environment and essentially create that easy button for how they can get started on their AI journey. So, so let's hop across the pond here for a second from the US over into Europe. There's an explosion of regulation going on over there. I, I think, I personally think from an analyst perspective, this is coming our way in the US. We're already seeing it pop up a little bit, but you got like things like GDPR, the AI Act, uh, you have the data residency, you also have data resiliency and some many others. How are you helping organizations really deal with all of this? Because if, even if you're a U.S. company and you're, if you have a domain over in Europe, you still have to deal with this as well. It's, it's such an explosion, but it's also kind of confusing when you start to think about all of the different regulations and how do you manage to them all at once. Um, now, some of the base things is, again, when we think about it from an HPE perspective, um, before even layering Unleash AI in is being able to have platforms like private cloud AI was designed for sovereign AI and being able to have that on-premise control, that full data and model residency and have that responsible AI and auditability. So being able to have all of that be packaged, then being able to layer uh, the ISV ecosystem on top of that type of platform 
where we're helping European banks and governments and healthcare organizations prepare for the AI Act readiness. And compliance to me is one of the areas why we started with 508 uh, compliance here in the U.S. and now expanding that uh, to be able to bring that same type of compliance against the EU regulations is that that is such a complex and um, sometimes even conflicting environment that it really is a growth driver for AI adoption to ensure that you can meet all of the type of regulations that are required. So, you know, when you start to look ahead and you're starting to understand what's going on, what do you see next for Unleash AI as you go down this path? There is so exciting. The the change in AI is happening so rapidly that, you know, what is the word for next year going to be? This year it was agentic. Uh, you know, what what will next year bring? But in looking at Unleash AI and what our customers are really asking for is around how do we continue to bring out vertical AI solutions, being able to you know, the smart city, incredibly exciting and impactful, but being able to now consider other verticals that our customers are clamoring for that type of uh, expanded use case and, and capability solution, whether it's around manufacturing or retail, additional uh, areas around airports and airlines. It's amazing the the number of questions that that we get that pertain to that area, additional considerations from public sector and healthcare. Um, every, every different vertical has their own unique need, um, all of which air, all of which AI can assist with, uh, but with kind of different flavors and different requirements across each one. So you'll see us continue to lean in in those areas to continue to grow that out. Uh, as we look at agentic workflows, uh, continuing to build out in those areas from accessibility to analytics to operations, uh, our partners who are building AI, they don't just answer questions. It starts to take action. It starts to look at workflow because when you think about it, AI first just gave us an answer. And, and an answer is interesting, but you need to do something with the answer. And that's why I love about the agentic approach that we're taking is really that capability to now build out workflows that match more the human workflows that we're accustomed to. And how can we automate those more mundane, time-consuming areas so that we can drive more back into the business? We'll see us continue to expand our hands on lab. I'm really passionate for people to be able to experience PCAI and our different ISV solutions directly so that they can get excited about the same things that I see every day. And also you'll see us continue to lean in um, globally with Unleash AI um, as we continue to grow this community, working across our regions, working globally with our different partners and ISV um, partners out there with more partner events, more office hours, uh, more seller enablement, and of course, more customer facing proof points. Yeah. I, I love it, Robin. I, I think, again, just the tremendous momentum that I'm seeing and from the outside looking in. And, you know, it's such a clear strategy for helping people with this opinionated stack and these great partners and this partner program that brings solutions and outcomes. You know, any final words you want to share with the folks uh, about this and the customers that are out there and partners? Absolutely, Rob. I think the my observation is that we've been through a great deal of experimentation, um, but AI, AI is real now. The impact it can have on your business is real now, and that our customers are looking for outcomes. They may not always know how to achieve those outcomes, but they really are looking for outcomes, not just experiments to try new things. And Unleash AI is all about helping them get there with confidence and with the best partners in the world. And and of course, on the best infrastructure in the world. It has to sit somewhere. I, I agree with you on that. It, has it to. Uh, Absolutely. Well, hey, Robin, thanks for coming on board. This has been great. Really always love talking to you and the customers and the momentum with Unleash AI has been fantastic. Thanks for coming on board again. Well, thank you. It was a great conversation, as always. And thank you for joining us with this episode of HPE Unleash AI. 
I really appreciate you joining us here on theCUBE, the leader in tech analysis and news. Stay tuned. Thank you.